All right, guys, we are here at CDA 2023. We're in the Massimo Training Center. We're gonna be talking about Marantz in this video. Hey folks, I'm Gene Delicello with Audio Hawks. We're here with the legend, the myth, Phil Jones in the flesh. How are you, my friend? Excellent, sir. It's always great talking to you. So you've got a bunch of products that look very similar in this, I call it a slimline uh, area for Marantz, right? Would you, was that, is that an accurate That's actually acronym? a good thing. Um, we, we're launching a new model called a Stereo 70. When you look at it, it looks very similar with its cosmetic and its kind of shape and form factor to something like maybe... Um, um, a Model 40 in, or a Cinema 70. And they, have, they, have, they all have something in common. They all accept HDMI, but their applications are completely different. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna focus mostly on the Stereo 70. Why don't you give us a breakdown of what this is and how does it differ from the Model 40? I know the Model 40 is substantially more money. Exactly, so think, if you think about the Stereo 70, the Stereo 70 is, a, um, is rated for two times 75. Um, and the main thing is it's, a, it's, a, it's an AVR for someone who only needs two speakers in a room. So say you're going to connect, a, um, you have an office, and you have a TV on the wall, you have a bunch, you have a PlayStation and a, and a Roku and an Apple TV and a Blu-ray player, but you only, only ever want to have two speakers. That's what this is for. There's another model called a Cinema 70. It looks very similar. The difference is that is a multi-channel version of one of these. So if you wanted a subwoofer and you wanted multiple channels of speakers, five speakers and things like that, that's what that would be for. The Model 40 is a hi-fi piece. It has one HDMI input as one of its multiple sources. So in case you want to plug your TV in and you want to get, you know, you listen to your TV audio through there, but that's not the main thing. Most people who buy a model, a model 40, it's because it's turntable, CD player. It's got a bigger, it's got more of the hi-fi, more hi-fi components. It's heavier. It, um, it's, it's, it's a more elaborate hi-fi piece. This is more of an AV piece. And it's more of a fancy case as well, too. Exactly. They yeah. look the same until you pick them up. Right. And then you realize there's a huge difference between the two. So the Stereo 70, does it have like base management and a subwoofer output? Well, because it has a, it has two sub outs. And of course, if you go into it, because it, it's based on kind of an, the AVR GUI, you have things like to go in there and set your speaker sizes and, 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 um, and things like that. So, so it had, think of it almost like most of the things you can do in the multi-channel version of this um, on screen and stuff. It does not have the fancy room compensation. There's no button. There's no plug for Odyssey or anything like that. So, right. so, but you can't go in and say I have large and set your speaker crossover settings and because you can have two subs and things like that. that. That's cool. All right. So, what about if I want to plug a turntable in here? Does it have a turntable? It has. A a, it has a. It has preamp? a phono um, moving magnet. Moving magnet. Moving magnet. But the main reason why somebody would buy this. If somebody was like, I want turntable and all that stuff, that's the, and I want to optimize my turntable and I'm a hardcore hi-fi guy, that's what the Model 40 is for. If you go, I want to use, you know, Odyssey and all of that stuff, that's, you may want to gravitate more towards um, a Cinema 70. But if you say, hey, you know what, I just want to plug all these things in, set my, sp I have, a, have a pair of bookshelves and a pair of subwoofers, and I want to be able to, to make adjustments like control. You can control this with the little Denon app, the little Denon app. Mm -hmm. You can, you, you can use it for that. So Hios, you can basically. Use, not even that, just the Heos app. But then there's like the Denon receiver control app. Oh, okay. Okay. This also has a GUI. The other, um, the a model 40 doesn't have a GUI. If you want to make adjustments, you do it from the front of the screen. This has an orange screen display. So you can go in and do, do all of that stuff. It's got Bluetooth transmission. So if you want like that, like we do on our receivers. So mm -hmm. if you want to, if, if you want to, um, plug it in, like, and use Heels and then broadcast it to other, you know, to maybe, you know, you can watching a movie plugged in, you got a pair of headphones, the old grandpa mode. Yep. You can do that, right? So you got parents sitting there, they can't really hear that well. 
this is being played. They put a pair of headphones on, Bluetooth mode. So it has a lot of the stuff that you would have seen on the AVR, but you, it only has two speakers. So if I want to plug in a pair of Bowers and Wilkins towers to this that are four ohm, is it stable in four ohm? It'll be yes. fine? Yes, it goes, I think it's a hundred watts per channel into four. Into, into four. Sweet. So, so it's, a, it's a good piece. It's just for someone who just wants um, a, um, more of the AV capability, AK inputs. So if you want, if you want to connect several AK um, devices, you know, two, three in on there, you could, you could easily do that. So if you want multiple video inputs, you want to be able to, you want an on-screen GUI and you want some of those user interfaces like the app and stuff that you see uh, that you would put on AVRs, you would probably want a, a, stereo, a stereo 70 may be the great piece for you. Great. And the, the, right, the price on this is what, around a thousand bucks? Right around a thousand bucks. So it's a nice way to, to work your way into, into a, 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 um, a Marantz um, product. Oh, by the way, it even has preamp mode. So if you decide you want to oh, eventually just use it as a switcher and buy yourself an amplifier, you can use it as just a preamp um, that has really good video capabilities. So guys, it's really a great entry level piece to get you into good hi-fi, really good hi-fi, and also integrate your TV with it. Because let's face it, I personally, most of the music I listen to is streamed through Apple Music. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you can now have a TV, plug this in with your Apple TV, and be able to see this, you know, the words on display and be able to select whatever music you want and still get full high-res audio mm -hmm. through it, HDMI, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Yeah, because the way I see it is, live in a New York apartment, you only have two speakers, right? But then your son wants a PlayStation, so you get him that. So now you can plug it in. And then you have an Xbox, and then you plug it in, and you have a DVD player, and then you plug it in. You can, have, you can run three wires up the wall to the TV, or you can plug it all into this and run wire, one wire rack back up to the television set. And if you take, if you want to take a nap from the TV, it goes back down. So if you're someone that has, that's thinking about possibly having three, two, three, you know, four, you know, HDMI things, this may be a good piece for you. Right. You know, and if you just want someone that just uses a TV app for music and, 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 the, and the streaming, you may, you may gravitate towards a model 40. Cool. All right, Phil, well, I appreciate you dropping the knowledge here on this Marantz Stereo 70. Check it out. We're going to probably have a little preview article for more details as well. Guys, if you like this video, please hit the thumb up, hit the subscribe. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audiohawks. We appreciate your support. You get direct access to me if you want to suggest video topics. And until next time, my friends, keep listening. Yeah. Um, it does not have a... Actually, no more. <laughs> <laughs> I got to look at the back of that. Yes, I knew you were going to ask me a question.